afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to go over BBRY. Why? Because this has earnings out tomorrow morning, tomorrow, which is April 1st. Whoa, did the March really flew by? Interesting how fast March went. Oh, I'm glad it's April tomorrow, I'll tell you that. I'm glad March is over. Goodbye, March. Hello, spring, and hello, earnings season in April. So let's take a look at this. Well, <laughs> Actually, I think this could do anything and potentially be good now that I'm looking at this here. So this does not report until the pre-market tomorrow. In an ideal world, as you know, I love to short. I always prefer to short versus go long. And I don't really care what the market does tomorrow because even if this gaps down, the market ends up being long tomorrow, which I don't know where the market's going to gap exactly in the morning until I wake up. But if this let's just say it's down, I'm still gonna go after it hard. I'm gonna go after this hard tomorrow if it gaps down, I'll tell you that. I want a big day tomorrow to start out April. It will be a sign. In fact, I, I know, I have 100% conviction I'm gonna have a great day tomorrow. You know why? Because it's gonna be a good month. It's gonna be the best month ever. So far, 2016. So, based on that, in an ideal world, I would like this to gap down because I prefer to short. However, that being said, that being said, all right, first let's look if it gaps down. So if it gaps down, this is a lot of room to go. It has a nice room to go. Okay. If it gaps way down, it still has room to go, <laughs> actually. So I don't know where it's going to gap down if it gaps down until I'll have to look at it to see the targets. Now let's just say if it would gap up. And to be honest with you, I don't know if this is going to gap up or gap down. I'm looking at this here. I'm like, I, I, I don't know what this does tomorrow morning in the earnings, but let's say if it gaps up. I think this is in play tomorrow. I'm just looking at this here. So my call for BBRY is that it's going to be in play tomorrow. Number one, there's not a lot to look at, so this will be on everyone's radar. It does have earnings out tomorrow. It's the first of the month. It's a Friday. This stock can move. You see some of these large bars in here? You know, this stock, even though it's a cheap price point, will have a baby stock and can still move 80 cents, 90 cents a dollar a buck. So I'm looking for a big move in either direction in BBRY tomorrow. Not necessarily in the gap, although it could. It could have a big gap up, hold and rally. It could have a big gap down and drop and, and fall. So I'm looking for a big move in BBRY. It could be a combination of a big move in the gap, then follow through in the gap direction, or it could actually just gap and then have a big move on the live day. I'm pretty certain though that this does something significant. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, sometimes every once in a while, a stock will have earnings and it will gap, meaning it will open or differently than it closed the prior day. Like today, obviously here we closed at $8.11. If this does, uh, if this just gaps down a little or gaps down a, a little bit up, it won't really be that much of anything significant. I don't think this is going to do that. I think whatever this does tomorrow is going to be demonstrative. All right, that's the point I'm trying to make here. Watch BBRY tomorrow. It will be in play. Now, what would this have to do in order to not work as a short? I don't think it's going to happen, so let's not even look at that. What would this have to do to not work as a long if it gaps up? Let me just look. This would have to gap up so huge, so massively. No, I can't even see that. Even if this would have some monster gap, which again, this is out of the woods. This isn't going to happen either. So that's not even going to happen. So either way, this is going to be in play. Yeah, there you go. Either way, BBRY is going to be in play tomorrow. I think this has a demonstrative move in the gap and on the live day. So watch it. If you know my golden gap rating system for the students out there, you rate the gap. If it gaps up, you rate it as a bullish gap. If it gaps down, you rate it as a bearish gap. And then you go with it if it's 20 points or more. Do I know what the rating is? No, because the stock hasn't even reported yet. It's not even gapping. This is tomorrow morning, the pre-market. 
I love post-market gaps more than pre-market gaps because it gives me time to get ready and excited and motivated for the following day. But I'll be up early tomorrow. You can bet your booty on that. I will be up, go to the gym, come back, be watching this. I want to have a strong start to the month of April. I believe that this is in play big time tomorrow for us to make some nice money in this. I love trading BBRY. In fact, every time I've traded the stock, I've made money. So it's a, it's a good luck for the beginning of April here in BBRY. And this should have a ridiculously small stop. It could be five cents, eight cents, 10 cents. So there again, if the stock runs 50 cents and the stop is five cents or 10 cents, we can make four or five R's or more. Really excited for the start of April tomorrow and the open house is tomorrow. And guess what? The Golden Gap class is this weekend, April 2nd and 3rd. And today is the last day to sign up for the Golden Gap class at the current price of $39.99. The price goes up tomorrow, April 1st to $49.99. The Bullish Gap class is next week, April 6th and 7th. The bearish class is this weekend, April 2nd and 3rd. If you want to sign up and learn how to trade with me and learn my method and be in the live trading room with me, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I can't wait for this week. I can't wait for this weekend. I can't wait for the month of April. There's so many exciting things happening for me and the Stock Swoosh. And thank you for being a part of it, everyone. Have a great night.